Welcome to another little video about playing around with forms in Microsoft Access. In another video I showed you how to put on navigation controls. There's a couple on this little form about students. Um, one takes us to the first record, very back to the beginning of the data file, the first record. Uh, that one takes us to the previous record with the single left pointing arrow. In a perfect world I'd add ones to take us to the next and the last records. But I'm not going to bother with that today. You can sort that out for yourself. Today I'm going to look at how to put in a list box uh, or a combo box and how to switch between the two uh, to choose given values. This is a, a lookup data validation check. If we look at our table, uh, we did that at the point of designing the table to allow us to choose higher intermediate or foundation tier for a particular candidate. If we look at the design view, oh it won't let me do that because I'm trying to play around with the form. I better put the form into form view. Now I can go into the design view. Do I want to open it as read only? Yes that'll do. Um, I set up the tier here and I created a lookup list box value list and typed in the values there, higher, intermediate or foundation. Another way to do it incidentally is to put the values into a table and then instead of having a value list uh, you go and find the table where the values are stored. The advantage of doing that is it's easier to maintain the list if they're going to change a lot. I'm going to escape out of that because my intermediate, higher and foundation probably won't change too often. So we'll go back into datasheet view and back into my form and switch into design view of the form and I'm going to add an existing field. I need to be on the design tab of the ribbon add an existing field. I need to pick up tier and put that on my form by double clicking. It's not quite in the right place so I'll bring it down here somewhere with its label. Um, now that little object there is a list box. I can prove that to myself by looking at its properties and it tells me the selection type is a list box. If I right click it again there's a very useful thing here where I can change it to a text box which I just type into or a combo box which is a different shape and I think looks rather neater on the form. Now it looks like the way we had it on the direct data input into the table. The reason I don't like entering data directly into tables by the way is it's often not the simplest thing to do if you don't know your way around whereas here I can add text. This little label here I can go into design view and edit the label which at the moment just says tier but I can expand that um, and say something helpful. This is the level taken by the student and I can reshape and resize things and generally make everything helpful um, and easy to follow so that my database entry system or display system becomes self-documenting and that's a very important feature in any software. So to recap we picked up fields by using add existing fields and selecting from a list here. Um, having done that, I'll just escape out of it and lose that. Having done that I then um, changed the list box which came up by default into a combo box by using the helpful little feature when you right click of change to. I can change it back to a list box if I want. There's only some things you can change between um, obviously you couldn't change that into a command button or anything like that. I hope that's helpful and I wish you the very best of luck with your database project.